Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to split your line vector at the desired distances. For instance, if you have a road or a river or it can be a railway line, you want to create some desired specific independent sections of this particular line vector. So I'm going to show you in a very simple way. So first things first, you need to go to the processing toolbox. By clicking it, you'll activate this on your right side. But if you have it already, no need of clicking it. So in my case, because I have it, I'll just go all the way to the right hand side. So because we are dealing with this line vector, which is under vector geometry, that means expanding vector geometry here, then scrolling down to letter S because you're using the feature which is called split line at a maximum distance. It's because these are arranged alphabetically. That means you need to go to S, split lines by maximum length. Or sometimes if you can't memorize this, you just required here to search split lines. You see, here it is, split lines by maximum length. So by clicking it, it will appear just like that. You have two parameters here. Parameter, I mean like two dialogue sections. Parameters and log. This is where you get the results. And parameters, this is where you get, you set your values. So because I have only one layer, which is road, that means I just select it input layer. So if you had varieties, you will have option of selecting different options of those layers. Then maximum line length. So because another thing you have to make sure that you are under the projection, for instance, mine is in UTM meters. That means I can set line length. For instance, it can be kilometers, feet, mile, yards, so metric or, or imperial. So I'll set, for instance, kilometers, then I'll set under maybe 20 kilometers. So I'll have a uniform section of 20 kilometers of one particular line segment. So it will be splitted. Just like this. So this is the road. So upon selecting, you see it's all one. So right now after splitting, it will be like in different sections. So then split. This is where you save your file. So you can browse. But for my case, I'll choose to create a temporary layer. So it will be saving catch memory. So press the run button. That means my road section will be separated in how many? 20 kilometers. So let us, let us select it again. So by clicking this select feature, bingo. Let me, because this, you see, it creates another layer split. So that means I'll turn this off and let us give it a better feature so that we can have a great look on how it will be. So because it's a road, I'll search for symbol for road and I'll choose the color, maybe blue, or not blue, maybe color green, for instance. So this is it. So I'll unselect it. So let us see if it has split. So by clicking this one, you see, it goes let us look where yellow ends you see let us you see this one that means these are 20 kilometers so you, how do you know you can prove sometimes you see these are sections 20 kilometers 20 kilometers 20 kilometers 20 kilometers just like that so this is not it's, it's under 20 kilometers so it decided to separate those each which actually sums to 20 kilometers and you can always prove so proving is you can use this measure line here so you can measure line and you can select maybe here in two kilometers so if you are accurate enough, you can now start to go dot by dot, but this is very tedious to prove if this is 20 kilometers. So the line has been splitted like this, you see, just like that. So it's almost 15 because I'm not accurate. You see, I've been trying to press some of the nodes in, not in a specific sections, but this is the way of doing it. So here, after having this function of split lines by maximum length, that means at the end of your assignment will be like ending up with that desired length which you are required to separate it so this is it so in case there's any question please feel free to drop a comment i'll be there to help you thank you a lot